Shalom, shalom, l'kulam. This is a continuation of the Helpful Hey. This is part two. If you haven't already seen part one, I suggest that you look at it. It outlines the functions and the tasks we're trying to accomplish in these videos. So the first uh, video was about Hey Hayidiya, the Hey which functions as a prefix for the definite article. Today we're going to look at the Hey Hasha'ela, the Hey which also is a prefix and functions as the uh, question, the interrogative particle. When we make a question, we can make a question by putting hey at the beginning of the sentence. That's what we're going to look at. Um, we have a little more time today, I think, so we'll do a little bit more writing. So we're going to start with uh, the vowels that we find under the hey in hey ha, ha she'ela. Usually you're going to see the hey with the chataf patach. The chataf vowels are the vowels that have the schwa next to them, and it doesn't change the pronunciation of the vowel, it's, it's a grammatical rule. Sometimes you're just going to see the patach by itself, and that will be in the case of um, when the following word starts a letter with a schwa, or some of the gutturals will carry this irregular uh, patach, and then sometimes if you have a guttural with a kamat, you will again see the segel. So these are the three examples of what we find for the Hei HaSheila. And we'll go now to the scriptures and our see first our scripture will be in Bereshit Gimel. Gimel is the third letter of the alphabet, and so it's Bereshit Genesis chapter 3. To write the Gimel, you're going to start up, come down, a little slanty line, and make a loop. And this can actually go below the line that it sits on, or it can sit on the line. Gimel. One, two. You might see it also with a loop-de-loop -loop in it. Like that. It can sit on the line, or it can go a little bit below the line. So in Bereshit Gimel, Pasuk uh, Echadesre, Echadesre is 11. Genesis 3.11, this is what we read. Vayomer, mi higid lecha ki erum ata, hamin ha'etz asher tziviticha levilti achal mimenu achalta. So Adam and Eve are in the garden, and uh, Elohim confronts them about having eaten off the tree. And we see in the middle of the verse, hamin ha'etz. We see the he has the chataf patach. That means it's a question. Min is from ha'etz. That hey is the hey ha yidia, the definite article. It means the tree. And so he's questioning them from the tree, from the tree which I told you not to eat. Did you eat from that tree? That makes the question from the tree. Let's go over to Bereshit Dalid and let's learn how to. To make the Dalid, you're going to start at the top, make a sort of a piece of a circle, and then come straight down to the line. The Dalid sits on the line, just like that. Dalid around and down. You also might see it with a little loop-de-loop -loop in it also. Like that. Breshit Dalid Pasuk Sheva, Genesis 4, 7. Halo im tetiv se'et, ve im lo tetiv le peta chatat rovetz ve alecha teshukato ve ata timshol bo. So, uh, Cain is feeling threatened by his brother and by not being accepted. And Elohim speaks to him and, and he says, hello, hello, hello is a Hebrew right. word. We use it in English, hello, when somebody asks you a rhetorical question and then they say, hello, like, Yeshua is the son of God, hello, don't you believe that, isn't that right? And it's the same in Hebrew, hello. So we see the hey with the chataf patach before lo. When hello is used as a question word like this, to make a question in Hebrew, we usually see the full spelling of lo with the cholem vav in it, the cholem malay. Hello, is it not true? If you do well, then you will be accepted. You will be carried. I'll carry you. I will bear your sin, um, is the idea behind that, behind se'et. So, uh, Elohim's asking Cain, hello, isn't it true? Is it not that if you do well? Okay, let's look also at Breshit 
Perak Chet. Chet is the eighth letter of the alphabet. We're in Genesis 8 and Pasuk 8 to the eighth verse. Bayishlach et hayuna meito lerot hakalu hamayim me'al pnei ha'adama. Okay, Yonah, uh, Noah is in the boat. He's going to send out the dove to see if the waters have abated. Okay, and we see the chatach patach under the hay with the verb kalu. Kal means uh, easy or light. He wants to see, are the waters easing up? Are they going away? So he sends the dove out, Liro, to see. Question, are they easing the waters? Okay, the, uh, the hay before the mayim is a hey hey yadiya, the mayim. All right, let's go over to Genesis 19. That's Yud Tet, Bereshit Yud Tet, Genesis 1, 10. Yud is 10, Tet is 9, it's 19, and Pasuk Esrim, Esrim is 20. Hine naha ir hazot, grava lanus shama, vihi mitzar, imalta na shama, halo, mitzar hi, utchi nafshi. Uh, Lot is running away, and he doesn't uh, want to go too far. He wants to go to the little city that's right there, Mitzar. And again, it's hello. Is it not? Okay, this is with the Cholem Chaser. There's no Vav, but we can see the Chataf Patach under the hay. Is He's asking a question. Is it not Mitzar? Is it not, small one? Okay. All right, now let's go to... Breshit Kaf Dalid. Kaf is the letter we use for 20. Kaf Dalid, 24. And we're in Pasuk Chamesh. Vayomer Elav Ha'eved. Ulai lo tove ha'isha lelechet acharai el ha'aretz hazot. Hehashev ashiv et bincha el ha'aretz asher yatsata misham. So Abraham is sending his servant, Eliezer, out to find a bride for Isaac. And the servant asks him, well, if the woman won't come, if the woman's not willing, should I take your son back to that place to get the bride? And we see the question in the verb, he ha shev, sh should I bring? So the root is shev, shuv, it's in a hefiel. So because of the hay of the hefiel, we have the segel. On, at the beginning, he ha shev. So the first he has the segel, that makes the question. And then ha shev, ha shev ashiv. It's actually a dual verb there. Should I definitely bring him back? And Abraham says, no, don't do it. All right, we'll look at one more verse in Shoftim. Shoftim is the book of Judges. Perak Tet, we should know this letter by now, is 9. And the Pasuk is Achadisre. Do you remember Achadisre? It's number 11. Vatomar lahem hata'ina hechadalti et matchi viet nuvati hatova vahalachti lanua al ha'etzim. So this is a story of Gideon, Yeruvaal, after he uh, has passed on and his sons are warring, who should take over and rule the tribe. And his oldest son has killed all his other sons, but his youngest son has hidden and he remains. And after the oldest son has gathered all the tribe under his leadership, the youngest son comes out and taunts him with these parables about asking different trees to rule over the trees. And this is the answer of the fig tree, hata'ina. So you see that, hey, that patach there, hey, that's just for the, the fig. And then the fig begins to speak, hechadalti. So the first he has a segel there, um, which is the, the he hasha'ila, is a question he. And then chadalti is to cease from or to stop doing something. Should I stop from my sweetness and uh, what else? And my good fruit, so that I can go and rule over all the trees. So that's the question. That hay makes the question. So that's the hey ila, 
And next time we'll go on to something else. In the meantime, Tasim et Ha'enayim al Hashemayim. Keep your eye on the sky. Your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom. Thank you.